the the title of this article is what happens when you hold in a fart. First of all, who holds in farts? You know, to me, the more uncomfortable the situation, the better. Now, I will say this. Farting on a plane is a real dick move, but one that I can't say that I haven't done. I've been sleeping on a plane and farted myself awake. And farting yourself awake is startling. Because you know who else wakes up is the person next to you. I farted myself awake on a plane once. It, because here's the deal. When you're, when you're in some of the older planes, especially back in coach, the seats are, are cloth. So they're like office chairs like these. And you can really, and when you get on chairs like this, you can, if your whole butthole is over the cushion, you can fart into the cushion. And it kind of, le- it just... <laughs> It collects in the cushion like a fart purse. <laughs> and then it, the, it's the next person who comes and sits on the cushion and it all comes up at once and it's like, Wah! right? But it's, it's a fun little joke and you can do it at the office, but you can also fart into the cushion and it collects them, you know, like infinity stones. And, and that way you, you know, but when you're up in first class with the big boys, they get those leather seats. And you know what? Leather is not, it reverberates against your butt cheeks. And so there was one time I was sleeping and I farted and I huh, started myself awake and I turned and there was a dude sitting next to me. He was just staring at me. just. And I go, hey, sorry about that. And he goes, not your first one, bro. And I was like, oh boy. And he told me, he was like, hey, you plan on going back to sleep? I go, I don't think so. He's like, yeah, I'm, I don't think so either. Because I, I look, man, you might fart on a plane, but you can't, you can't, no, you can't, out, you, you have to be sneaky. You know, it's like, you got to be sneaky about it. You can't just be, because we're all trapped in there. It's on the, it's in the tube, you know, and it gets sucked up and then it gets spread in the back. People are not going to be happy. So, yeah. But I, other than that, I'm not a good, I'm not good at holding in farts because I think they're funny. And generally what I'll do is I, I enjoy a silent crop dust. Like if I'm out at a restaurant and I have to fart, I'll make sure I stand up, walk, fart as I'm walking through the restaurant and make my way back to the table. And I'll tell whoever I'm with, just watch people's faces. And you can see. You can see people like, cause they'll just be sitting there and then they're just like, but you can see a trail. It's like dominoes, ding, 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 and just heads, but they never know it's me, which is great. Um, but I love a crop dust. Um, I love farting in a movie theater. Although those are, those are good cushion seats too. Um, but I'm generally not a fart holder in her cause it, they, one, it, I think they're funny and two, it makes me uncomfortable. So I'm, I'm, you know, and, and, and I've smelled enough farts in public to know I'm not the only one. That being said, what happens when you hold in a fart by, Ooh, this is not who I thought it would be by, this is by Sierra Boucher. I was not expecting a woman. I don't mean to sound sexist, but I didn't expect to see Sierra, a French woman writing a, Writing a story about farts. Oh, ooh, ooh, you know. Imagine being on a first date when you feel the need to toot your own horn. Pass gas. The average person releases about 0.5 to 1.5 liters of gas a day. Whoa. So I, you tell me I, I fill up a liter of, how do you measure that? How do you measure that, Sierra Boucher? How do you measure the amount of gas by an average person? How many people have to fart in a bag in a controlled area to make it seem like this is the average amount? That I that see stats like that. I just can't. You know what I mean? How are you? Okay. I think it's based off of how much the average person eats. 
Yeah, but everybody's intestines is different. Some people are farty McFartisan and some people don't. All right. Most of these farts are odorless. Speak for yourself, Sierra. <laughs> what do you mean most of these farts are odorless? Who are you hanging around with? The French? There's no way the French farts are odorless. I eat so much cheese. Tell me, get out of here, Sierra Boucher. Yeah, you, you're just trying to, that's like you saying your farts don't smell. Get. There are some that it's hard for it to be completely odorless just because of where it's coming out of. Do you know what I mean? It's passing through the butthole. It's going to have some sort of, now some of them don't smell that bad. I guess some don't smell, but I wouldn't say most are odorless. That's, that is a, that is, I mean, not in my house, not where I grew up. My mom and dad farted. Yo, my, my dad kicked my mom out of the car once on the freeway. She was farting so much. My, listen, my grandfather, I remember sitting at lunch with him once and uh, it was me and probably two of my brothers and the server came up and as he was ordering eye contact, he was just, and you know, like that old person fart that just, and usually it happens when they walk. Like when you get older, everybody, there's, you're going to walk and fart in a really uncomfortable way where you don't know if it's voluntary or if it's just falling out of you. You know, I told, I asked my grandfather once, I'm like, yo. And he was like, I can't help it. It just falls out. I'm like, falls out. Ugh. But he was just eye contact and she was, God bless her. She was doing the best she could with this old dude, just farting up. And we were all just sitting there like, uh, are we allowed to do that? Eye contact farting with a server. And when she walked away, we, the table was silent and he was like, I'm, I'm going to die soon. I'm not holding in farts. And I was like, good for you. Shit. That's my attitude right now. I'm going to die soon. I'm not holding in farts, you know? Um, so most of these farts are out of this, whatever. It's rarely acceptable to take the chance. What's the chance? The chance, listen, the chance is the one you push out a little bit because it could be a shart. That's the chancy one. But I think you know which ones are chancy. I, as much as you're surprised by a shart, I don't think you're ever really surprised by it because you know some farts, there's no, you're like, oh, this is, there's no risk here. But some, generally for me, in the times that I've sharted, it's always been, should I? You know what I mean? Mm, this feels like I could get out a little bit of this one, you know? So I don't know. Sierra Boucher, are, we're half of a paragraph in, and I'm already not super excited about your article. Whether in the workplace or with friends, which is the two best times to fart, with friends, workplace, amazing, dude. Are you kidding? An office to, to, to truly just drag a fart around the office is amazing. It's amazing. We all clench our cheeks from time to time. Um, what does holding in flatulence do to our bodies? Well, um... It doesn't seem to do anything very bad except cause discomfort. Yeah, this, listen, basically what this article is telling me is that everybody farts and that when you hold it in, it makes you uncomfortable. But uh, it is not terrible for you. There you go, everybody. That is their natural way the body, okay. Of course the body's trying to push the gas out. Can you injure yourself by never passing gas? Yes. The same way you can injure yourself by never pooping. Who is never, who's holding it in that much? Because that feels like your stomach would become like a balloon that you could, you know, when you squeeze a balloon and it just goes, that I am now curious because oh, 
Mm. Should I hold them in for a full day? Let's see what happens. If I hold them in for a full day and then just Dutch oven Beth at the very end of the night, this feels like an experiment I'm interested in. All right, everybody, I'll report back on that one. That's an IRL stream right there. That is. I really think it is. Yeah, I'm I'm definitely going to, guys, uh, I'll let you know how that goes. A Sierra Boucher is not from French, France, by the way. She's from Washington, D.C. Hey, if you like this podcast you just watched, you're going to love the one I'm popping up in your face right now. Check it out.